you know, the answer to the greatest mystery is uh well we see we see spaceman we see that you're doing a lot of videos on toys is dead but why is toys dead like how could have toys be dead i have i believe the answer to today's riddle why are toys dead as we see from time to time i'm cruising the toy aisles and i'm showing you the uh, the repercussions for woke movies and woke shows but still doesn't explain enough like poor packaging uh choices like mystery boxes can't see what's on the inside can't explain why the first run of gi joe's looked nothing like gi joe the real american hero can't explain why C-3PO and R2-D2 keep getting cut out of the retro Star Wars toy line. But I believe we have the answers today, people. That's why before we get into it, make sure if you haven't, jack slap that subscribe button and don't miss any more videos. Oh, well, here we, we tell it like it is. We get to the bottom line. We are like 20 away from showtime. 20 away from the big launch so smash that subscribe button if you haven't share these videos with a friend if you're all collecting action figures this channel is for the adult collectors if you just hear like well toys are for kids toys. yeah this isn't your channel you have to go find a channel so you don't wet your diapers too much but uh a few months ago i've watched all kinds of retro blasting uh, videos I've been I've been a, a faithful subscriber to Michael's channel on retro blasting for years I mean I, this one person has it has the 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 nail hit on the head it's Michael over retro blasting he's got a fantastic channel go over there uh, subscribe to his channel and enjoy it the guy the guy's collection is like a time machine and watching his channel just takes me back to the good old days when I was a kid. But anyway, it's it's a certain video that I'm going to refer to. Michael did a video on the retro collection G.I. Joe. And in this uh, video, he ponders about uh, who makes the choices at Hasbro when concerning the kinds of figures and who chooses what uh, is going to be released. And he, he states that, uh, you know, when you got Snake Eyes, you got Storm Shadow, and you got the Baroness. He's like, these choices seem like, well, a soccer mom. Key word here, people, is soccer mom. And it got me thinking after Michael said that. I'm like, oh, okay, a soccer mom. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense. We don't even know who's in charge of Hasbro. We do now. We do now. And uh, I think once you see what I'm about to show you, it's going to make a hell of a lot of sense. I mean, how would you fit like six figures for Star Wars Retro Line? Not 12? Not like the first 12? That don't even make no sense. A lot of these choices in today's uh, toy marketing doesn't make any sense. Mystery boxes? You you could be getting a whole new figure inside. Oh, this is plastic-free packaging. This is great for the environment. Fuck that. Oh, oh so, so wait, what about that train derailment in Ohio with the chemical nuclear shit going off that was totally... An accident, right? 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 Yeah, totally not sabotage. Yeah, that people can't drink the fucking water because you got rainbow sprinkles coming up from the bottom. What is it? Vi vinyl, uh, vinyl chloride or some shit like that. You'll never be able to drink the water again. But it's not. this video isn't about that. I got videos on BitChute that you can go over, you can watch, and really find out what the hell's going on. But no, no, we've uncovered the culprit. 
This isn't an accident that just Hasbro just keeps making. These ideas, these happenings are made by, as Michael stated, a soccer mom. Well, I think we've gotten to a point we just need to get on with this. Let's go check it out. There she is, people. What a surprise! Kind of looks like somebody we know, huh? Boom! Oh! This is too close to whole base. Boom! Hasbro! Boom! Star Wars! Boom! Hasbro! Boom! Star Wars! That's right, everybody. There is the soccer mom. There we go. There we go. This is why the first uh, group of fucking G.I. Joe classifieds was not anything to resemble the real American hero. I mean, this would have been a, this would have been a home run. It would have been a home run right off the bat. I mean, Mattel didn't pull this shit. Of course, uh, Mattel doesn't have their own Kathleen Kennedy running the fucking show. But it gets better, people. Kim Boyd. What do you know? Her The first letter of her first name is starts with a K. Kim Boyd. Kathleen Kennedy. Kim Boyd. Right here. Right there. Kim Boyd. Kathleen Kennedy. Kim Boyd, Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh, my God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Put this bitch in charge, right, Hasbro? Yeah, what could go wrong, right? We only had, what, $400 Sentinels? Can't fucking stand up? We had six figures, not 12. From the original Star Wars Retro Kenner line. I mean the figures look amazing. But without C-3PO and R2-D2. The whole Retro line is, is, is a fake. It's a farce. It's just not worth even getting into collecting. Either you're going to shit or you're going to get off the pot. This line has no identity whatsoever. Because the bitch running the show looks like Kathleen Kennedy. Oh, my God. Oh, it gets better, though. Kim Boyd, Blueprint 2.0, is our strategy for bringing brands to life in innovative and exciting ways for our consumers. It's an approach that focuses on fewer, bigger brands. Fewer, bigger brands. But those bigger brands is what is, what is the bread and butter. Expanding, seeing, uh, expanding licensing branded entertainment. And the uh, impressive array of consumer products spanning a broad range of diverse categories. There we go. You put a you put the you put the discount Kathleen Kennedy in charge, and already we're getting into the diversity inclusivity. It's all political now. They, my guess is is that they tried to girly up GI Joe, the kind of to get boys away from. Military toys. See, G.I. Joe looked very militaryish. If you collected the toys back in 82, as I did, these were hardcore military G.I. Joe, the real American hero. Of course, they took away the real American hero off the card backs of their 6-inch figures that they finally corrected the correct colors, the correct look for the figures. But then when they put the heroes, like, say, Gung Ho... And then you look up at G.I. Joe, it doesn't say real American hero anymore. Don't like America. Well, if you don't like America, you don't like our heroes. You don't like our troops. They fought for your freedom. You're welcome to leave the country anytime. If you're not going to do these toys correctly, don't do them at all. I mean, now you look at the car backs for, say, Cobra the Enemy. doesn't say real American hero. It just says Cobra the Enemy. I can understand that because these are the bad guys. They're not real Americans and they're not heroes. Kind of like the people uh, running the entertainment industry and the toy industry. Uh, 2023 will see our blueprint 2.0 in full force giving synergy with the highly anticipated upcoming premieres of the films Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among the Thieves, and Transformer Rise of the Beast. Dungeons and Dragons film will kick off focus a brand new 
new toy line. Yeah, we went over some of these new toys. They fucking break. They're all like made out of some gummy, weird, rubbery plastic. Very fragile. You can't, you can't articulate them whatsoever, even for just a display. Because that's all we collectors do. We take them out of the packaging, we put them in a position, and then we just sort of just display them. To pay homage to uh, the characters that we grew up with when we were kids. But you can't even do that. You can't. And now I've seen, since Hasbro has picked up Fortnite, uh, I've got a Fortnite figure that I got. Uh, not too long after I picked up a Dungeons and Dragons figure. Now keep in mind, the Hasbro also has Fortnite with their six inch figures. And I took the figure out and I can't pose them. Because this figure now is made of the same cheap gummy plastic. Cutting corners. Didn't have a problem with Fortnite figures when another company had it. They managed to do it just fine. But an $11 billion company who is known has the reputation for making action figures for like 60 fucking years. All of a sudden now they just poop. They can't make figures anymore? You can't make articulated figures anymore? That's confusing because you had that ability with the three and three quarter inch line with the vintage collection. You had the ability with Star Wars, uh, Marvel Legends. Like I could pose Spider-Man all over the place. Get them Spider-Man poses. But you can't do that with these Dungeons and Dragons figures. They're not worth the money. And the money, oh my God. Almost $30 for a fucking six inch figure. It's to the point, people, that the juice is not worth the squeeze. We are quickly getting to this point. Oh, fucking hell. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, Kathleen Kennedy has has uh, flirted with us adult collectors, adult fans of Star Wars by calling us man babies, man child, you know, so on, fanboys, you know, the kind of people these bitches hate. Well, this bitch hates us. As we've seen the kidult, I'm not making this up. Look at this. Look at this. Kidult. <laughs> A kid adult? What the fuck does that even mean? Calling us names now? You mean the adult collector? The adult consumer base is growing and growing. Not if you're going to keep calling us that, it won't. They are stimulating a fan economy. And it's one of the fastest growing toy categories overall. And it's a significant growth area for Hasbro. Only, only, uh... Only a bitch like that would call would call the collectors out there, all of you, all of us, adults. Yeah, yeah. Just like uh, just like this bitch destroyed Star Wars and laughing at her fucking handiwork. She destroyed Star Wars. And over here we got her protege, her twin, her doppelganger destroying uh hasbro because you know and you say look at mattel to hasbro mattel has done to master the universe what hasbro has failed to do with gi joe gi joe should be in that place up there with masters of the universe and it's not it's not. Right now, it's not. See, when Mattel relaunched Master of the Universe Origins line, they stuck true to the original figures that came out in 1982. The only difference is, the only difference is, the figures are articulated, the modern figures are articulated, fully articulated, where the originals just had that, uh, round band design the the rubber band design if you will just like kind of like the old uh 
the O-ring design. That's what I mean to say. They vastly approved the product. They they approved the product, and they released. In my mind, they released every fucking character in Master of the Universe. They got more figures on the way. So if you're collecting the Origins line, man. Don't give up now because they just show more figures. We got Point Dread coming up with the Talon Fighter. We got Tila coming up with Zor. We got the evil purple Zor with Skeletor coming up. Lots of good stuff coming up from Mattel. We ain't got shit coming up from uh, Hasbro. I mean, some G.I. Joes with vehicles, which I may or may not get. I don't know at this point. I'm struggling, people. I'm struggling so hard to stay into the mix. They got some cool Transformers. I want to complete my Dinobots. I don't know how far they're going to keep going with this because they have this in charge. Trying to turn G.I. Joe into something that it's not. There's nothing wrong with the way G.I. Joe was. G.I. Joe fans, even like myself, want G.I. Joe to be what it was in modern era today. Just like what... Mattel has done with Masters of the Universe, Origins, Masterverse, but they started with bringing back the original figures that we love, the way they looked, with the original weapons, Battle Cat isn't a figurine anymore, an Action Man Tiger figurine anymore, he is a fully articulated Generation 1 looking Battle Cat. Completely improved. Same way with Panther. Castle Grayskull is a whole new Castle Grayskull. But it resembles the original Castle Grayskull. There was no... Uh, there was no stylized going on in the first series of these first runs of these figures. You're getting all the original figures. And yes, they are compatible with your original Master of the Universe toys and beasts. Say if you got the new He-Man, Origins He-Man will fit perfectly with your original Battle Cat. In case you couldn't have found Battle Cat. You can't do that with, uh, with G.I. Joe. They don't fit. Because they're totally stylized. I mean, as, we, as we're coming to see the figures going down the line, they seem to appear to be more like what we saw in the old cartoons and the toys. And that, that's good. But it didn't start that way. They started out with completely stylized, over sci fi out fucking weapons. It's like the person in charge has no idea or a clue about G.I. Joe. And now we know who's responsible. A clone of Kathleen Kennedy. This is Kathleen Kennedy in her 20s. This is Kathleen Kennedy in her 50s. Any questions? <laughs> I'm not as upset anymore because now uh, is Michael's just been proven right. The man knows what he's talking about. This is the soccer mom he referred to. He just had no idea that it actually had a face. Unfortunately, it's always the same face as Kathleen Kennedy who fucked up Star Wars, who continues the fuck up Star Wars. Star Wars is dead. And now things with Hasbro. Hasbro is dead. Notice how you got lots of Wakanda Forever fucking bitches hanging on the pegs. Yeah, all them, all them black Wakanda women decorating those pegs. Well, she's responsible. That's what they want. They want all them female figure toys up on the shelf. It's going to be a girls' department, toy department after a while. Because the boys are, are getting kicked out. Ugh, all these fucking diversity hires. Fucking wrecking everything. There won't be anything for anybody. Won't be any kids. Listen, I know, I know the argument is, well, well, toys are for kids. Yeah. Tricks are for kids, too. But toy kids don't care about toys today. They just don't. You have to make stuff for the adult collector, and you got to make stuff for the kids. Of course, 
most of the toys hanging around the shelves are just little kitty toys that collectors ain't going to buy. There's no base anymore for Marvel. They fucked up Marvel so bad. Not even Marvel Legends are selling. And at the price point when you can't even see the figures, again, it just goes back to the juice is not worth the squeeze. Before you buy any of these figures, you need to watch toy reviews of the people that did buy these toys and see what they have to say about it. I recommend don't buy any action figures that you can't see. Fortnite and Dungeons and Dragons, I would stay the fuck the hell away from it. It's not made out of the good plastic like, say, Marvel Legends currently still is. Or this Star Wars, uh, the Black Series still is. She's the reason why Reva figures are all over the shelves. She's probably the reason why HasLab tried to dump that $500 Reva stupid ass disc lightsaber last year. Didn't reach anything for crowdfunding. Probably the reason why they can't even make a $400 action figure that can just stand up on its own. Stand up and just do this. Just do that. That, that's all that figure needed to do. Can't do it. Can't do it. There's no excuses when your whole business is incorporated around making fucking action figures. You can make the little ones do this. Well, you used to, but now you can't. Now your figures are breakage. The G.I. Joe doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense until now. Because you got this. It's not a soccer mom. It's even worse. It's a Kathleen clone. A Kathleen clone. Oh, why are all these women looking the same? Pantsuits. That's a fucking pantsuit. That's a fucking pantsuit. Will you have a bitch like this that wins an election? If she's running the country, get the fuck out of that country. Because these bitches are fucking up the movies, they're fucking up the toys, they're fucking up the countries. Like that bitch in uh, New Zealand, always doing the little cocaine bumps. And no, I'm not saying this bitch is doing the cocaine bumps. I'm saying that they're all bringing everything that they run to the ground. Funny how Mattel took Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, away from Hasbro... Now, it's like we're getting toys that we only dreamt of ever having. And Mattel has totally knocked it out of the park. I mean, you can create every scene from fucking Jurassic Park. With dinosaurs that are to an exact scale to the humans and to the vehicles. And most importantly, to the other dinosaurs. Hasbro never did that. Shit, Hasbro couldn't even make a T-Rex to stand on its own. Kind of like the Sentinel, huh? Yeah. See, see the the connection. Can't even can't even do the Star Wars retro collection right. They can't do it right. So what's the point of even collecting it? Now we're coming in Return of the Jedi. Six figures again, only six. There isn't even an Ewok in this one. No, uh, no R two, no three PO. Keep keeping these characters out of the mix. Why? Because you can't uh, vacuumize or vacuumetalize these these figures. You know, make them uh, flat gold, flat silver. That's not how these characters are. It's not how Kenner did it. Oh shit. Anyway, people, that's that's the video. Uh, if you want to be kept updated. If you want to see more of those Toys Are Dead videos, don't waste no time. Jump on board. There's plenty of room. And uh, we're 20 away. Let's uh, let's get that uh, live stream going. The Spaceman is ready. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for liftoff, baby. Anyway, be safe, stay safe, and I will catch you on the next one. Good night. Whew. Goddamn Kathleen Kennedy clone.